as they tighten themselves up five laps of quarter minute racing as we've got it's almost a scene like an earthquake up here there's a lot of shaking and cupboards flying everywhere we get underway green light about to come out for our quarter midgets and it will be the 71 car of Rasmussen that's going to lead them through young Darcy followed by 10 of Malachi Webb watch for the 23 of Jack Brownlee he's coming through the 48 of Lockie Martin 18M car of Conley Webley who uh, was racing in Western Springs and we've got one over, Monika Webb's, uh, Monika Rawson's gone back over again and it's the second time of the season she's got the rollover so we'll switch the uh, rollover tally from quarter mid uh, from three quarter midgets down to quarter midgets we're up to three already yeah, not, not the intent with that but no, these, just got, these just midgets just seem to tip and obviously Monika Rawson there just going to the inside starting to creep up to that high line and it's got a bit sideways and caught a nice wee bit little of, wood, a bit of rut there and Yep. Over she goes in the Express Lube and Tube sponsor machine. So pretty in pink. So it won't be too long before we get her back underway again. And these guys just have a wee bit of bite. I'd say it's going to be a rerun. Not sure if they've got a full lap completed. So just having a look through there. The 88 car of Matt Rawson here. The beautiful yellow car. That's the sister. He'll go past seeing her upside down. Just going to split the cars up. Looks like Monique is all sorted. Just going to put it to the infield. And hopefully not too much damage done. So we'll line them back up. Get the crews off onto the tow trucks. And I'll do one more lap before we let them go. Good to see a good number of quarter midgets growing. If you want to get into this, there's boys and girls aged between 8 and 15 years old. A lot of them turn up to 10, 11, 12. And when they turn 12, make themselves up into mini stocks. I think they're having a wee bit of a trouble here. I think that one lap has already been here, so I think they should be in single file at the uh, moment. Is that what they're working out Yeah. Yet? I think some of them thought they were going to be in double standard, and then some of them thought they were going to be in single file. So... So just wait for the referees to sort it out, of course, with no uh, lap scoring. They can't tell them where they were after they went past the uh, first lap. So the, it's going to be a bit of an effort just to try and squeeze them back in again. At least they're not too bad. They're not pushing and shoving each other like we see a few other drivers do. Yeah, a few other greys might be a bit different a bit later on, though, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you will send in a bit of Rua Puna. <laughs> yep. There we said, oh, look, if you're going to do that, you'll move you up to the stock car grade. Rightio. So 48's got to move up one, they tell me. So Karen's just going to get the 48 car. Looks like the uh, Edridge is sponsored. Young Lockie Martin will move up one more. No, nope, might just let him go. Looks like we're going to go racing. All the young Darcy Rasmussen's got two quickies right behind them. And part of the series, oh, there'll be protests galore for this one. I'm sure there will be taken to the high court as we see young Darcy starting to go great guns in the 71 machine certainly unique with the clear plastic but it looked pretty flashy if you could fill the back up with water and put a goldfish in it might scare the goldfish that's the problem there we go young Darcy Rasmussen holding out a couple of quickies of Malachi Webb and young Jack Brownlee's lucky Martin through there as well watch for the 42 coming through of Leela Harper but a uh, wheel rubbing between the 88, was it, and the 23. So just locking wheels as they sort themselves out. Track just a little bit lumpy, but these guys starting to dial it in now. Getting higher and higher out. Yeah, it looks like the 62 car looks like it's slowed. So it is. Check it flag now. Race with the young Darcy Rasmussen. Fantastic effort to hold off two very quick East Lockie Martin in fourth spot. And then we go back to the 42 car under the first year we lead the Harper. As they all fire through the 42 car. 
back in the pack. They'll all sort themselves out as our Parisian and Sparky's trying to sort out the bugs and bits and pieces. Got a can of fly spray out there. So yeah, as you said, a bit like the old uh, cricket grounds when it's a bit of drizzle around and you got all the guys with all the mats and covers and all that getting ready and getting things sorted out behind the scenes. It's pretty much what we're doing here with our live lap systems. And it will be a great win. I'm not sure if it's his first win, young Darcy Rasmussen, but it's certainly a fantastic effort. It's his first win here at Milestone Home's top of the South Speedway, so he's one happy chappy. And the custom built quarter midget too is very different compared to the other chances. Well, so. It's clear, I reckon you could put a goldfish in that. That'll be neat, wouldn't it? Oh, that'd be awesome. Might scare the goldfish yeah. a bit, but that's all right. Yeah, Maybe a piranha. <laughs> oh, no, I don't know about that one. Hey, that'll look good with a piranha in the back of that 71 machine swimming around. Yeah, give him a round of applause as he makes his way around the track too, race fans. Obviously, as the professor said, between the ages of 8 and 15 year old, and I can tell you what, They've all got but way better car control than everybody on New Zealand roads. Yep, and hopefully we get a couple of good pictures of that one. Rebecca, that might be one that I might be doing a bit of a write-up on in the uh, weekly. Uh, just having a look over there, Pete McNay, is here. T-shirts, hoodies, caps, the whole kit and caboodle. Get on down to the shop, spend some money, support what it is that we do here, and uh, make sure that you're looking flash for your next meet out here at Milestone Top of the South Speedway. That's the one. Alright, yeah, here we go. Quarter midgets it is, young lasses and boys. Watch for the 71 machine. Looks like it might be reverse grip this one round. I'm going to go and chase up these sprint car drivers. I tell you, I'll get Steven. Steven's pretty good. He normally wanders up, and I'll try and get young Joel up here as well. As we get these quarter midgets floating about, looks like we're underway. Looks like we've got our ELS, uh, ELS or lap scoring system back up and running, which is also quite handy. Who we got off the front? Taylor Martins, one of the cars off the front there. Having a look on the outside, it might be the seven car, is it? Just having a wee look there, or 72, seven car. It'll be Isabel Clark. Watch for the 54 of Jackson Clark. The 18N of Connolly Webley whose last race meeting was up in the North Island. I haven't got updates from what's happening in Miani yet, so, yep, we're the only track running now. Greymouth completed their meeting. Monika Rawson's back out there after a wee tip over in the first heat. A few quickies at the back there. And this should be a good wee race, five laps here for the quarter midgets, the Mike Greer Home Series. And they are off and racing, it will be a couple of clerks, all three of them, all 1, 2 and 3, 54, 7 and 72. But here we go, the 23 car coming through as well as, oh she's gone 2 for 2, Monika Rawson back up and over again. Oh mate, mate, what are the odds of going for a hat-trick? Are we going to, where's, where's Dad? <laughs> Dad, are we going for a hat-trick? <laughs> Dad's just sitting there looking at that. Well... That's what happens when you're sung a delivery driver, she sends it. <laughs> Baby pink's not the not the lucky colour for Monika. That's actually it's almost the same spot too, it's deja vu. That's a torrid time for old Monika tonight, isn't it? Well she's gone through she might be leading the tally all on her own from everyone else in the club. She's on three. Yeah, she's on three, I think we've had four this season, so yeah. Yeah, she's got a majority. <laughs> Do we have a quarter midget rollover trophy? We might have to get one. I might, have, might, to I might have to invent that one. I can invent. Might have to replace the three quarter midgets with the quarter midgets um, this year. They're uh, on track to go for I, eleven. I can invent them. No, I don't want them to go for eleven. I don't want them to have one. Yeah. <laughs> well, Ron, what are we on now? Four. 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 There we go. Get, we'll have to get our list up. Oh, that's a text here. Tell you what the list ends up at. Oh. Yeah. Better than Bruce. She looks okay. Got Fatty in there going, mate, what are you doing? Rolly poly, at least at number eight, you can read it upside down. Yeah, it's easy. <laughs> yeah. Still from N2. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's a hard life, I tell you. Uh, All right, yeah, you're going to have a wee bit of that. She might have a wee bit shaking here, so we'll go around another lap. Looks like they're going to have a rerun. 
Well, they're going to have that single file. We'll wait and see. Looks like a complete rerun, looking at where the uh, drivers have started. And hopefully nothing too uh, damaged there. There will be a few scratch, scratch marks on the top of the roll cage. So just checking her out. So we will be under caution for a wee minute, folks. Nope, off and racing. Here we go. No, going back to caution. We have got people on the infield. St. John's heading over that way. So we will go back under caution. So we just need to make sure that the eight car of Manika Rawson is all good. So St. John personnel over there. Obviously, with our high-vis members moving around, we can't go racing with them outside of that concrete barrier moving around so that's a 2022 health and safety thing there so we'll make sure that the Monique is all good in that car if we do we will have to open the gate if need be hopefully she's all nice safe and secure in that 8N machine on the infield So those are what uh, results. You can go on to Speedhive. Just uh, look up speedhivemylaps.com and you can see all the race results on there. Uh, hopefully some of the uh, latter ones might be missing, but there will be a full uh, write-up in the website tomorrow. And obviously there might be something in the uh, Wyoming Weekly later in the week. It depends on how fast I can get my typewriter working tomorrow. And, of course, the big wind-up before the Demolition Derby. Looking forward to that one after Christmas. Hopefully trying to get a bit of fishing in as well. Cameron Manaway's got his boat back. So here we go, racing once again. And it will be the Clark 1, 2 and 3. As you watch Conley Webley coming up as well. The 23 of young Jack Burnley's around the outside. The 48 of Lockie Martin. And the 10 of Malachi Webb. As they follow through, background watching for young Darcy Rasmussen in the 71 machine, our last heat winner, back down towards the second part of the group. But up in front, the race leader will be the 54 car. And if you watch young Jack Brownlee, who's heading to Australia to run the, a mini sprint type vehicle in Australia after Christmas. Down the back straight they go. You're going to try and cut and low. The 54 car shuts the door on the 23 machine. But as it does that, pushes wide, opens the door once again. And young Jack Brownlee's will sneak through. Here comes Malachi Webb up into third place. We're going to try around the outside. He's going to try the slide job on the 54 machine as well. Put the pressure on. Push the 54 out. Comes underneath. Can't quite get it done. Right flag out this time round for Jacob Brownlee's. The Mike Greer Homes quarter midget series around number two here at Mileside Homes, top of the South Speedway. And it will be Jack Brownlee sort of looking towards the checkered flag. We'll pick up the checkered flag from the 54 car, we think just, yep, just from the 10 car of Webb. Here we go back to the 48 of Rocky Martin, the 7 car of Clark, the 18 car of Webley, the 72 car of Clark, 71 of Rasmussen. Are uh, your top five, six, and seven? There's a race once again put to a halt by the rollover of the eight car. Just seeing if I can spot Dad down there. Go down there and say, Look, I don't want you to go for three in a row. I don't know if it's ever been done in Speedway Circles. It might be a good storyline, wouldn't it? It yeah, might be another not nice wee ride up for you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure she'll be loving the sponsorship, free sponsorship for a vehicle. Yep, no, it'll be quite a hard blocks. case. Yep, and hopefully our resident uh, photographer, Rebecca Mailings, have got some action shots there. Of course, you can go on to Rebecca Mailings through our Flickr account, Facebook page, and they've got some photos up there. Of course, there will be some on our website tomorrow as well. So we have a bit of a debrief now as part of the system. Um, before I start prize giving, there's all these new systems I've got in place to try and double-check results and bits and pieces. Uh, sometimes it doesn't quite work. Sometimes we get our little story quite wrong. Sometimes he's blown engines instead of blown sockets and bits and pieces. And some people have a bit of a cry over it, but generally we try to get it right. Mm. Not easy in this times. Very quick to point out mistakes. As it looks like a few of the cars have come to a bit of a halt. 
Here we go, dad out to see young Manika. Brightwater Fathers Club. And Manika. 0 for 2 is young Jack Brownlee's the 23 machine picks up the race win. And he won't be too far off the front of the feature race for the quarter midgets, of course. We're talking about quarter midgets, and they've got a few double up in numbers and that because he's a 23C and a 23N. And it is time for our Mike Rear Homes South Island quarter midget feature race here at Milestone Homes, top of the South Speedway. Probably six laps here for Mike Rear Homes South Island. Quarter Midget Series, round number two here at Milestone Homes, top of the South Speedway. It will be the 10 car of Malachi Webb on the inside. On the outside of him will be the 23 car of Jack Brownlees. The next row back will be the 48 car of Lockie Martin. And then the 71 car of Darcy Rasmussen. And the 54 of Jackson Clark. And the 88 of Mac Rawson as we are racing for our feature race this is where it's all winner takes all race fans as we go orange got a wee bit of a jump start there from a couple of our kids as we'll gaggle them back up they all, they're all pretty good at following the rules these young kids well, these ones are these ones are the youth mini stocks. Might not be. Not the ones in South Auckland. <laughs> so Malachi Webb and Jack Brownlee's the front row. Obviously, we had a wee bit of a trouble with the start. The 42 in car of Leela Harper unable to get out for this feature race. So it's a bit unfortunate there for who with the points with the Mike Greer Homes South Island Quarter Midget Series round number two here tonight at Milestone Homes, top of the South Speedway. It's good to see quarter midgets on the rise around the tracks, especially down in the South Island. Good to see good competitive close racing, which is what you want to see. And nothing is different here tonight. So Webb and Brownleys are your front row as we go racing yet again. And they've got past the check of all the green light, all good, so all the stewards are happy. So as they start to make their way down the back straight, looks like Jack Brownlee's has gone out to the early car and a half length lead over the 10 car of Malachi Webb and the 48 of Rocky Martins. They go side by side, battling it out for second place as they make their way into one and two shop corner. Martin just got the wee slight advantage over Malachi Webb as they start to make their way down the back straight. A wee bit of contact between the two, but nothing too major as Webb will just settle for that third place as Darcy Rasmussen in the 71 car trying to go down the inside of Malachi Webb for third place. It looks like the 18 car of Conley Webley up into fifth position getting hassled though by the seven car of Elizabeth Isabel Clark who's trying to go right around the outside of the 18 of Webley and gets the job done. And soon following suit will be the 54 car of Jackson Clark, the other one of the Clark contingent here at Milestone Homes, top of the South Speedway this weekend. But Jack Brownlee's and this Access Man sponsored 23C machine starting to really put some pressure on the second place car, the 48 car of Lockie Martin, putting a massive gap between him and the lead, and Martin still in that second place. It looks like Isabel Clark went a wee bit high on the exit there of corner two, lost a couple of positions. As Brownlee's still holding on to this one, he's about half the back straight in front over the 48 car of Lockie Martin at this stage. So Brownlee's just hoping for that white flag to come out. No, it's going to be checker flag to come out this time by. And he's going to pick up the feature race when Lockie Martin in the 48 car is going to pick up second. From the 10 of Malachi Webb, then the 71 of Darcy Rasmussen. From the 18 car of Conley Webley, running out your top five. Then it'll be Jackson Clark, then the 23 of Bailey Benjamin, the 62 of Brody Morris, then the 7 of Isabel Clark, and then the 72.